What is your favorite business or marketing book? What's your favorite business or marketing book? The 22 Immutable Laws of Marketing is, that's what first exposed me to category um, thinking, actually. And one that I've been reading, Never Split the Difference by Christopher DeVos, has just been a great um, kind of handbook for learning how to talk with people and empathize with people. I don't really read business or marketing books. Like, I I haven't since probably the four hour work, work week, like six years ago. <laughs> it's by the CMO of Sixth Sense. It's called No Spams, No Forms, No Cold Calls. And mm. really getting past sort of those annoying tactics that come at us. You know, nobody really wants to fill out the form anymore. Nobody really wants to get these cold calls and all of that spam. And so what is the way around it? And, and I think they do a really nice job of explaining kind of this, this new philosophy, this new approach. Everyone references building a story brand by Donald um, Miller. And I I think you know that it is it is good um sometimes i think it is over recommended but it, it is good i think particularly for companies like delta trade which are quite complex in the sense of you know we're we're a big company across a lot of different verticals within our industry um and we need to find a way to kind of distill that story down um into a coherent understandable message at advance in sales and marketing by perry marshall the journey is the reward it's by uh, steve jobs and uh, the reason I, why I like that book is because that is kind of like this, like my, my, my slogan that I live by for my life is the journey is the reward. But I, I, I think about all these different things that, that I've gone through in my life and into where I am, where I am now. Um, but the most important aspect of all of that is the journey, like the journey mm -hmm. from, from, from starting where I am, where I started to where I am now. And then who knows where I'd be, you know, five, 10 years from now. So just really being lost in the moment. Uh, Good to Great uh, by Jim Collins. It's a great one. Extreme Ownership, again, by Jocko Willink. That's another one. 10X, 10X Rule. Rule by Grant Cardone. And okay. everyone loves to hate this guy. So be prepared for haters if you talk about him because he is a little <laughs> that's, that's, that's how you know you made it big, right? If, yeah. you, got, if you got enough haters, that means you, you've made it. Uh, Influence by Robert Cialdini. Very easy one. That is the Bible of marketing. It's genius. It's refines the six pillars of how to persuade human beings. And even though it was written in the early 80s, it encapsulates how we move people today on social media, on television and sales calls and every situation where you're trying to convince someone to do something. If you truly understand those six pillars, you can get anyone to do anything and, and you'll be a much, much better marketer. Well, right now I'm reading Brene Brown's um, Dare to Lead and by far, Th that book is hitting me in the soul, and so I have to go with that. The one that I'm recommending a lot now is Fix This Next, right? And it's all about um, prioritizing, if you're looking at your business, what are the things that you um, need to be uh, really focused on, um, you know, in the order you should be focused on, on this. Probably the one I share the most uh, is the Strengths Finder book. Yep, uh, so I love that one. I think it's on 2.0 or whatever. You know, I'm a pretty religious StrengthsFinder user. Um, I was a, you know, uh, I lived at Rackspace for almost 10 years, and that was sort of the the language of the of the world we, we lived in. So there's an inbound marketing um, by Heiligen and Shaw that was a really nice starter for me, and I think it's by one of the founders of HubSpot. I have, I have a shelf of books I, I've used and not used. Right now, I've been really a big fan of this book called The Tiny MBA. And it's it's really, it's like this little tiny book that you can just flip through and uh, you can consume it in like 20 minutes. It's super small, but the point of it is each page has a question or a statement or something that then you can, it causes you to reflect on your own business. And so you, you really can't get past three or four pages before you're just lost in thoughts of how you can improve your business and whatnot. So yeah, I, I'm a big That's fan cool. of that book. Uh, Getting Naked by Patrick Ciccone. Is that a business book? It sounds a little risque. <laughs> Google it, see what comes, <laughs> Google it, see what we'll, comes up. <laughs> we'll have to look into that one. It's an oldie, but Good to Great is actually one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. I think it has a lot of great lessons and it still works today. Chris Voss is like never split the difference. Um, okay. So it's uh, it's all about like negotiation, right? And like the the tactics like used in negotiation. But I think it really teaches like listening, like how to be a better listener. Shoe Dog by uh, Phil Knight, Nike. Um, people have been telling me for years you gotta you gotta read Shoe Dog, and I finally did. 
Um, it was fascinating. Uh, what a what a storyteller he is. So. Mike, add that to the Amazon cart, please. <laughs>